Okay let's make some scarfs. As it's tradition. Let's obliterate this. We are going to use football scarf sizes. 145 centimeters wide cross 17 height. In freedom units. Just fuck off. We are going to add a plane. Here in the dimensions tab let's set 145 x axis and 17 y axis. Tab key and press ctrl r to create some loop cuts. 40 vertical cuts and 12 horizontal. Press a to select all of the vertices and extract with e key 0.5 centimeters. Then ctrl a to reset the scale. We are going to add a subdivision modifier. Create another loop cut and move it close to both edges. Now let's set it on shade smooth. And let's find on it material for our scarf texture. The shader is called Nutter. It's completely procedural. So we will be able to tweak all the settings till we get something that looks good. Alright. Let's download it. Here it is the blend file. Let's open and see. There is a preset already created. Simply we are going to copy the sphere. And paste it in our project. Then change the engine to cycles and set GPU. Finally set the feature to experimental. Later you will see why. Once our file is tweaked. Let's select our scarf. Go to material and select the preset material. Perfect. It's looking like rubbish. And now in the shader tab let's proceed to tweak the material. As you see here. Our good guy Thomas has left here an image texture ready for us to set our room designs. Let's click here. And use this scarf's design. It already has the aspect ratio of 145 x 17. Then here shift A and search mix RGB. Then join this node here in color 1. The image node in color 2. And the alpha here in factor. Alright once everything is set it just change the node for this color one. There it is. Here is our design looking horribly wrong. Set the displacement scale to 0.005. Now here the division tab is what defines the number of nid divisions. That sets the material. Let's go for 730. And shape is what defines how long is the nid not itself. 12 is what I'm going to set. Fuzzy is how distorted the design looks. 250 will be enough. For the moment I'm leaving the shader configuration as it is right now. And let's change the shader name. Here in the subdivision modifier let's set it to adaptative subdivision. So it can generate a far more detailed displacement. As you see right now it's too much. So let's set the scale to 0.002. For the moment we have just the main mesh for the scarf. But we are aiming for a multiple scarf animation. Let's set an array modifier. And set it to 12. Here they are. And then apply it. As this motion is going to be physics based. Blender needs to use big sized meshes so the simulation doesn't crash and behave properly. Press A to select everything. And scale it 10 times bigger. Now we are going to do two different type of hair system. One for the little fuzz that appears on the surface of the hole. And another one for the fringes. Let's start in order. Add a particle system and click hair. In the modifiers tab move to the top the particle modifier. For the moment let's set the length to 5 cm. Now in hair shape. Set the diameter of the root and tip to 1 cm. It's just a matter of tweaking and seeing what works. To add a bunch more go to children and click interpolated. It's a matter of trial and error. Let's try 100 and see. The hair is too long. Set it to 3 cm. And then in the roughness tab we are going to randomize so it doesn't look too uniform. Also see that is too thick. Let's go for 0.3. See all that fuzz? Nice. Alright once we are happy with it. Let's go for the fringes. Add another system and click hair as well. Remove all the hairs setting the number to 0. And now is where magic happens. Let's move to the first one and set the mode to particle editing. Change the counter to 1. I'm going to grow like 40 single hairs from each edge. Time to groom one by one. Cool that should be enough. Click the comb and then straighten both sides hair fringes. Now select the scissors and cut the hairs more or less at the same length. Like that. Alright it's looking wonderful. Go to the modifiers tab and move the second particle system above the subdivision. Now we need to comb again. Then in particle system click interpolation simple. Set it on 80 or so. Go to clum and lower the number to almost minus 1. Hair shape change it to 1 cm for the moment and see how it looks in render view. Okay they are too thin and there are too many as well. We are going to go with less and thicker. Let's go with 3 cm. Okay better now. Perfect so we have our 12 scarfs almost completed. Last detail is to create a material for the fringes. We have plain white shader while real scarfs combine all the colors of the scarf to do the fringes. In photoshop create some black and white stripes and save it as an image. Then create a new material and name it. Then press Ctrl T to add an image texture with coordinates nodes. And select our stripes texture. In the particles tab. 
go to render and change the material to the one we've just created. Then change the rotation till we get something that looks as our reference. The scarfs are looking wonderful. Only thing is that I'm seeing 12 models and just one single design. So, time to create some artworks. <laughs> Bufandidas, Trillon Shock Triguna. Bufandas. Quiero empezar yo reaccionando. A las mías, sí. ¿Ya? ¿Es la una? Es increíble. Esta baba. Este, qué buena idea, eh. Es decir que es plagio totalmente de esta mujer, eh. No, no es plagio, no hay plagio. No es plagio, no hay plagio, no hay plagio. No hay plagio esta mierda. Igual te la plagio yo, eh. <risa> te lo digo, honestamente, bro, le pongo un 8, eh. ¿Un 8? Vale. ¿Ya? Sí. Bro, te has tenido una oportunidad, eh, de ñanca. No, está bien, tío. Está bien, Colson, tío. Un 3 y medio, bro. ¿Tres y medio? Eh. Vale, vale esta es un poco carajo. Eh, está bien, eh, bro. Está, está bien. Los ojos de Fendi, eh. Notita. Eh, 5.7. Vale. Lo tomamos. Vale, dale. <risa> Muy buenos colores, eh. Ya, la verdad es que sí. 6, le pongo 6. Vale, dale. <risa> <risa> este no es el cuello. Bro, el otro consumido, el de la otra, ¿sabes? Sí, no guarda eh, así, tú está, está bien. Está bien. El 6 también le pongo, eh. Vale. con la otra. Bien. Ah. <risa> ¿Pone algo? No, no. Sí. Sí, se puede saber o no. Traga polla. <risa> Esto está son ocho y medio. Eh. Traga de un cipote. Vale, vamos. <risa> Eres un hijo de puta. Ponte un punto. <risa> en vez de tres puntos. Sí. Nueve. 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 <risa> vale, ya está, ya está. Tú eres un perro de la idea. ¿De qué dónde es la frase? Eh, eres papi, creo. <risa> Siete, bro. Siete. Está bien, eh. Estoy nervioso, eh. Let's go, let's go. Vale. Bien, bien. Esto, es muy, que bien, bien, muy bien, bien, muy bien. Esto. Te cuelga por aquí, ¿sabes? Que está muy, va, muy es bien. Que está bien. Solito hecho, pero de cojones, ¿eh? Vale, ya está. <risa> vale, vamos. Bueno. Hostia, esta tiene potencial, ¿eh? Cuando estén colocando te quedarán los dos muñecos. Eso está muy bien. Eh. Has jugado muy bien con esas cosas, ¿eh? Un 5. Vale. ¿Ya? Sí. <risa> <risa> sí, es mi cigarro. Es tu cigarro. Tú lo esperas, curra, hace cojones, eh. Muy bien, vale. Le pongo un 3. <risa> sí. ¿Ya? Sí. <risa> vale, vale. ¿Esto qué es? ¿De la Super Nintendo? De eh, sin un juego, tío. De la Sega, tío, algo así, tío. Cunde, eh. Italia 90, bro. Un 6. Sí. <risa> un 6. ¿Te has dejado alguno para el final? Sí. Bien. Sí, qué asco, tío. Sí. ¿Ya? Está, sí. <risa> Hostia. <risa> ¿Puedes desarrollar? Sí, sí, sí. Te pongo un. Hostia, no puedo sea. probar. Un 4 y medio. Vale. ¿Ya? Sí. <risa> ¡Nah! ¡Qué guapa! ¡Qué hijo de puta! ¡Está guapa! Está bien, mi bro. Está bien, mi. All right, we have the designs. Now it's time to apply them to the scarfs. So in this 12 scarf mesh, we basically have just two materials. The design itself, that appears on both faces, and the fringes material. What we are going to do, is create another material from the first one. Let's duplicate it, and name it face B. Change it back to the first material, and rename it face A. Now create a new slot and select face B material. Select the front face, and assign it to face A material. Turn it around. Select the faces, and apply them to the face B shader. Now go to the UV editing, select all vertices, and click on mirror X. That would be it. Each face is projecting the design in the right direction. Now we need to apply the other designs to the meshes. It's quite simple. Since all of the scarfs belong to the same mesh we need to create all the different materials and assign them. Select the first material and duplicate it. Same thing with the second, and the third as well. Now go back to the original material for the three of them and create three material slots, and add a new duplicates in there. Let's set an example with the sword design itself. First change the duplicate name so everything is tagged, and then the same moves from before. 
we want just the second scarf to have the sword design. So let's select the front faces, and assign them to the sword face A material. And then change the shader image texture to the sword artwork. There it is. Same thing with the back part. Select the faces and assign them to face B material. And change the image texture to the sword design. UV editing, and mirror X to invert the design in the right direction. Ok last part is to make sure the border faces get assigned to the material as well. Select and assign them. That would be it. Now we need to do these steps for the other designs. We will work on the fringes material a bit later. For the moment let's focus on applying all the other designs to the mesh. Not gonna lie, they are looking amazing. See all of those materials created with their tags, 3 material slots for each design. Alright, as you can see the fringe material remains the same. What is happening is that we are using the same hair system for all of the scarves. The fuzzy hair system being used for all of them is acceptable. The problem comes with the fringes material using just the first design colorway. The solution? Creating a system for each scarf fringe, and applying their proper material colorway. It's quite simple. Let's change the name of the fringe system for just the first design. Then go to particle edit and delete everything but the black and white fringes. So now we have a hair system for just the first calf fringes. Now we need to follow the same method that we did for each fringe. Let's do the sword scarf as an example. Create a new hair system. Set the number to zero. Particle editing and the same thing as before. Around 40 hairs for each edge. Comb them straight. And cut at the same length. Name the hair system. And basically use the same settings as the first fringe system. Now let's do the material. Here you see applied in the material the texture that we did for the first design colorway. We can modify a new one. Open the texture with Photoshop. And then change the stripes to the design colorway. And save it as a new image. Then in render material select the sword fringe material. And then change the image texture shader to the red and green colorway. There you go. Now we need to do the same process for the other scarves. Alright it's looking good. Let's go for the motion. As I previously said it's going to be completely based on physics simulation. I'm looking for a realistic approach, but a bit more playful. Making them fall into a pit of clothes. Let's start then by scaling up the floor, and applying a collision modifier. Set the friction around 70. Now let's do the simulation for the whole scarf mesh. We are going to hide the fuzzy and the 12 systems for the fringes. Then in the physics tab add a cloth modifier and tweak it. Set the quality steps to 15. Speed to 1.4. The whole mesh weighs 2 kilos. And then for now leave the properties as they are. Only thing that I'm going to tweak is the bending attribute and set it to 10. Another very important thing is to set the quality collisions to 15. And lastly enable the self collision tab. To create the starting layout for the simulation, go to edit mode, select one vertex and press the L key. Now let's move each one of them, and create the composition. Make sure to avoid any clipping, it can cause simulation problems. Before hitting bake, in the modifiers tab make sure to move the cloth one above everything. Ok what I usually do now is to get on my knees, look at the sky, and try to talk to God. Alright I've prayed all that I could. Now let's do a live reaction of the simulation bake. Ok so the fringes now remain still with no animation at all. In order to make them interact, go to the physics tab, and add a collision. And then move its modifier to the second place. Go back to the particle settings. Enable hair dynamics, then tweak the settings till you find something that works properly, and click bake. Alright once you find the settings that work as you've intended, use it for baking the rest of the fringes. Perfect now everything has its own simulation baked. So, for the floor and the general feel I was thinking of an industrial look, bit brutalist and raw. Quite like the unsound drags type of photo shoots. We might go for a lighter concrete. So let's find some plaster material that looks good. Perfect, that's about right. Okay I'm liking the slide setup. I'm going to render from this take, and see if the motion and everything convinces me. Then move to the other takes. Render settings into K resolution, 300 samples, and I'm rendering in PNG sequence. So I decided to render 8 scenes in total. They are a bunch of different angles of the falling scarfs. I've composed the sequence in a premiere timeline, and sped up each one of them by 170%. I'm happy with the sequence so let's export the XML file and open it with DaVinci Resolve. As always, import timeline and select our file. Once open select the first clip and click on fusion. Since we didn't apply motion blur to our render because of a GPU problem with the subdivision. 
we are going to add two nodes, optical flow and vector motion blur. Connect both ends, and then tweak the blur to make it more subtle. Press space and let DaVinci calculate. Alright so our Faki motion blur looks wonderful. And then just paste the nodes to the other clips, to add the blur as well. Now I'm going to tweak the color, in order to remove a bit of that render feeling, and make it look natural. Let's do it for each clip. Alright we just boosted the color a bit and some highlights. Select the clips, click on deliver, on the Premiere XML tab, add it to the queue, and render it. Alright back to Premiere, import the XML file that we've just rendered from DaVinci. Grab the new sequence and place it above the old one. Color and motion wise I believe we are pretty much done. Now time to craft the cloth sound folly. Trust me, we won't complicate ourselves here. Alright I've imported the audacity file. I think the proper way is going to be by stacking a bunch of sounds. Not bad at all I guess. Okay so far Lee is done. I've also added an adjustment layer, to tweak some last minute details. Press Ctrl M key as always, and select some good quality export settings. MP4 format, and the CBR around 100 or so. Nice. Let's see the final footage. Perfect, it's over. Project finished. Thanks for watching. Bye.